Good afternoon, Jets Nation. Welcome aboard New York Jets News. I'm your host, Chief Jets, and today I'm going to be predicting the New York Jets 2021 record. Before we get started, gonna please ask just hit the subscribe button if you are new. Check this video like if you end up enjoying, and follow me on social media. Links are down below in the description. Week one against Carolina Panthers. I have the New York Jets winning. Donald's debut with Carolina. I don't think he's going to be all that. He's going to look similar to the quarterback he was with the Jets this past season. And if you watch Jets football in 2020, you know Donald was not that good. So in this New York Jets first game of 2021 NFL season. This Jets team with an actual coaching staff is going to make plays on both sides of the ball and end up getting a win. Week two against the Patriots to have us losing. Bill Belichick will take advantage of the fact that the Jets have a young team with a rookie quarterback under center. I believe we're going to give the Pats a run for the money, but in the win, I don't see us winning. Week three against the Broncos to have us losing. This game is going to be a battle of defenses. Whichever team has the best defense will end up winning. And in this case, I see the Broncos having the best one. Week four against the Titans to have us winning. Tennessee's offense is not going to be as good as it's been the past couple seasons since Arthur Smith is no longer their offense coordinator. And I believe the Jets defensive line is talented enough to stop Derrick Henry and the Jets offense will also have a nice day against an alright Tennessee defense. Week 5 against the Falcons, I have us winning. I mean, Falcons are a really interesting team because they have a fantastic offense. Many people believe Matt Ryan thrown it to Julio Jones, Kyle Pitts, and Calvin Ridley. You know, the Jets can't take that. You know, many people believe the New York Jets aren't going to be able to stop that great Falcons offense. But at the same time, Atlanta's defense sucks. They don't have a good defense. So in the end, I believe the New York Jets will find a way to stop Atlanta's offense and take advantage of that bad Falcons team. So entering the bye week, the New York Jets are 3-2. and two. Not bad. Week 7 against the Patriots, I have us winning. The Jets have already played the Patriots so far this season and will be coming into this matchup well-rested and ready to play, which is why I think we end up getting the win. Week 8 against the Cincinnati Bengals, I have us winning. The Jets will tear up that Cincinnati offensive line and will be in Joe Burrow's face every 5 seconds. The offense shouldn't have a problem against Cincinnati's defense as well. Week 9 against the Colts, I have us losing. The Colts are my Super Bowl dark horse team. I don't think Carson Wentz is that bad of a quarterback. He struggled in Philadelphia because the only legit receiver he had last season was Jalen Rager and his offensive line was crippled. But now he's coming to an Indianapolis Colts team that has a fantastic offensive line, some really good weapons, and a pretty good defense. So I don't think the New York Jets can get a win against this team. We tend against the Bills. I have us losing. Buffalo is a way better team than the New York Jets, and I just don't see us getting a win against them. Week 11 against the Dolphins. I have us winning. I wasn't impressed on what I saw from Tua last season, and I don't think a Tua ran Dolphins team is going to be all that. I mean, I believe this game is going to be really close, and home field advantage is going to be a key in this game. Week 12 against the Texans. I have us winning. The Texans are just not good. This should be an easy win for the New York Jets. Week 13 against the Eagles, I have us winning. This Eagles team has a lot of holes. They're most likely going to have a top five pick next year's draft. I mean, they don't even trust their quarterback, Jalen Hurts. It's throughout the offseason, there's been reports saying that the Eagles wanted to trade up in like the top three, top two to get the quarterback of the future. I mean, the receiving core looks promising, but that's about it for them. Their defense isn't really that good. So this should be the Jets' first win ever against the Eagles. Week 14 against the Saints, I have us losing. I mean, the Saints lost a lot of talent this offseason because they were almost $100 million over the cap. This team is not the same as it's been the last season and in the past couple, but they're not going to be horrible. I mean, this team still has some legit talent on the roster, and I do believe they can beat the New York Jets. Week 15 against the Dolphins, I have us losing. As I said earlier, this is going to be a game that's going to be really close, and home field advantage is going to be key in these two games. And the Dolphins are home in this one, so I have them winning. Week 16 against Jacksonville, I have us winning. In the battle of the top two picks in the 2021 Inva draft, pick number two is going to get the win. The Jets' defense is also going to give us an edge. Week 17 against the Buccaneers, I have us losing. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers won the Super Bowl last season and are the only Super Bowl winning team to ever bring back all starters on both sides of the ball. And if all goes well, expect Tampa Bay to be just as good as they were last season, which is definitely good enough to beat the Jets. In week 18 against the Buffalo Bills, I have us losing. In the Jets' final game of the season, I have us losing to Buffalo, a much better team than us. Well, in the New York Jets' first season with Robert Sala and Zach Wilson, I have us going 9-8. What are your thoughts, Jets fans?